All right, I guess we're live. <laughs> so staring off into space there. Um, hello, welcome. Um, so I wasn't planning on going live, um, but then we reached 100K subs today. So I thought, let's just go live and have a little chat and um, cheers. Thank you, because it's actually all of you guys watching that got us to 100 thousand a hundred thousand hunters um chris mack you're the first person to chat hi guys i can see you all coming in um so yeah this is cool i'm sort of just literally do an impromptu chat will ask me anything um and um yeah probably should have planned it <laughs> thank you very much to everybody hey kay kaylee um so yes, uh, let me know, Have you are you a newbie to the channel? Did you come here? Wait, how did you get here? How did you find me? That's quite useful to know. Um, I can see all your comments coming in. The Atlantis ring, hey, I've literally just filmed a video about it. Um, so I'm going to wait. I'm not gonna say too much about the Atlantis ring because I'm, again, I've just oh, filmed a whole video, but um, I could probably show you guys. If you, don't, if you don't know what the Atlantis ring is, it is a ring that they found in a, in a ancient, ancient uh, grave in Egypt from the second dynasty, it's super old, like it's over 5,000 years old. And this ring, here it is here, the Atlantis ring. Um, it's unusual because it has some properties, some um, wavelength properties to it. And so I bought one and I've worn it for a week and I'm giving my, uh, my opinion on whether or not it works because it, it's supposed to be able to help you like focus your mind, heal your body, get rid of bad energies, all to do with sacred geometry. Um, also, a little bit of ancient history news today. I was like having a little look through the world and I thought this was really cool, really exciting. I'm always shouting about how everything's getting older. Everything's getting older, everything's getting redated. Now it's something, you know in Saudi Arabia there are these camel reliefs that are like literally etched on to like the rock surfaces. Um, hi guys. So actually let me just move this over here. Ah, there we go. There we go. So these camel reliefs, um, they were estimated to be about 2000 years old, which actually isn't that old when you look at the grand scheme of things. Um, scientists are now saying that they are incredibly old. Uh, like 8,000 years old, like older than Stonehenge old. They are prehistoric. I don't know how they found that out, but that's what they're saying with science. They're super old. Um, in fact, they're older than camels were even domesticated. So I don't even know like what that's about. Um, and they don't know why somebody sculpted them, but they, they look very similar to the way that they sculpted Petra. I don't know how, so if they've worked out that these camels are older, could Petra in Jordan be older? That was my first question. Um, just thinking about that. Just thinking about that. Um, have we got another picky of, here we are. Here's another picky of the camel. We'll keep, we'll keep him just pop there so we can all look at the camel. I do like a camel. Um, Oh, hello everybody, hello everybody coming in. Um, if you've just joined, I'm just doing an impromptu live because um, we reached 100,000 subscribers today. What? I literally just started this um, channel chatting about old stuff because I freaking love it and um, all of you guys joined. So that's awesome. And now we're talking about camels because these camels in Saudi Arabia are like 8,000 years old. So I thought that was, um, that was super cool. Um, another thing that's, super cool that I found is that there's been a 9,000 9, year old stone mask that they found in Israel. Apparently there's like 15 of these things in the world. How freaky, what is that? That is like a 9,000, I'll go here. That is like a 9,000 year old, the mask. Like we've seen the movie, The Mask, right? Has anyone put it on? Do we know? <laughs> Mental. Um, very small face, probably fit me. I've got a small head, but there we are. Um, how are you all doing tonight? I can see you guys buzzing in. Are you excited for your Egypt tour? Yes, I am. So for those of you that don't know, I'm going back to Egypt in September. I went the 2020, not the year, 
the years of like molding into each other. Um, I'm going back, I'm taking my camera, I've updated my kit. I know exactly what I'm looking for. I'm going to get way more footage. I'm gonna LiDAR and 3D scan as much as possible. Things especially like the um, the Stargate at Karnak and the Ramesseum. I briefly saw that last time. I'm gonna make sure I like scan the crap out of there. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm really excited. I don't, I think it's sold out now, the Egyptian tour. However, I'm also going on another tour that I was gonna mention just for housekeeping purposes. Um, I'm going, oh, here we go. I'm going to Peru. <laughs> I'm going to Peru with Brian Forster uh, in November. So it's a shorter, short, sh shorter tour, um, but we are going to all over, all over Peru. We're gonna see the skulls. We're gonna see the Inca, the Mayan. We're going to Machu Picchu. We're going, we're going all over. Um, and there is still a few tickets left for the Peru trip. So if you fancy going to Peru. Oh, and one thing Brian told me to tell you is that for Peru and Bolivia, you don't need a vaccine. They're not, they're not doing anything about vaccines or COVID or anything. So um, you're welcome. Everybody's welcome. Um, let's uh, have a little look in the comments. Oh my God, it's going so fast. I can't even read it. Um, 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 what's your view on Stonehenge? I love Stonehenge. I've only been the once. Um, I did a video on it, but I've seen that in London, there is a new uh, exhibition at the British Museum. You have to pay to go and see it, but they've just like found a whole bunch of stuff, like really cool artifacts around Stonehenge. And I'm gonna go and see the exhibition. Try and sneakily film a little bit maybe for you. Um, I, I will, you could, uh, oh, just for the tour, if people are looking for the tour, um, you can go to um, Brian's page. He'll have the link or I'm gonna, when this live ends, I'll link it in the description box for you. There we go. Um, cool, no, have I done a video on the Barbara Caves? I haven't. Um, there's a really good documentary called, I think it's called BAM, Builders of the Ancient Mysteries. I think it's called that. And um, there's, two, there's two of them actually. And both of them look into the Barbara Caves in India, which is actually, I think the most phenomenal piece of ancient history stone carving there is i'm really interested in egypt but i think india trumps it this thing is like something out of a space age movie i, I don't have an image of it to show you guys now but um phenomenal stunning i think my dog's trying to come in because i've shut the door might have to run and get my dog <laughs> um but yes but i want to do a video on on the um the barbara barbara caves because they are like pretty phenomenal um guys welcome um, no plan really, just having a chit chat, talking about ancient history and celebrating the fact that we've got to 100,000 followers. Um, great. Um, yeah, party on. I mean, it's only, it's only 6.30 here, but why not? Um, we did have a Stonehenge in Australia, but they bulldozed it. I mean, I can only imagine all of the sites in the world that have been bulldozed, removed, back when nobody really thought about antiquity. What we could have lost is just crazy. Um, yeah, okay, yeah, best way to just stay and genuinely chat, genuinely have a chat chat. Um, if you just joined, I was just mentioning before because I thought this was really cool. This is like top, top, new, top, top news. Um, these, giraffes no not they're <laughs> they're not even giraffes are they they're camels these camels um i would be great at doing the news these camels in saudi arabia they thought they were like 2000 years old they're not they're prehistoric they're like 8000 years old and um so that's in the news today but i'm thinking if if they've just worked out if they can just move that stone structure back 6000 years well, could they move other stone structures back? Like, could they not do that with the pyramids and go, well, actually, no, they're 8,000 years old. Or um, the Assyrian or Stonehenge or anything that's stone. You know what I mean? Uh, it's possible. I don't know. It's like everything's getting older. Everything's getting older. There's like a bazillion different human hominids coming up. You know, it's all it's great. Giant camels. <laughs> um, how's the Atlantis screen right going? Um, 
Yes, good. It's incredibly complicated um, trying to pitch a movie script. Um, and to be honest, I'm trying to run the channel and run other channels and um, I'm also acting and I'm going to be in a TV show like next month. Um, so the script has taken a little bit of the backseat, but I have a feeling that like this year it's good we're, you know things are gonna happen come on joe rogan let me let me go on joe rogan and pitch the movie and i think that somebody will buy it <laughs> so i just gotta get joe rogan um do you respond to emails uh yes i do i try to i i've got a folder because i do get a lot of stuff and some of the stuff you guys send me is phenomenal um i try and reply in fact actually somebody okay. sent me a very phenomenal thing. Oh, I wish I had a picture. Um, the Azores. For everyone who's interested in the Azores and Atlantis, Randall has a theory that Atlant the, the Atlantis, the most likely place, is around the um, the Azores there. Um, turns out this woman, this Portuguese woman, has got a YouTube channel called F From Azores, I think. And she does... She walks around up in the mountains of the Azores and she's found like megalithic structures, like dolmens. And um, there's a stone which has like a big square cut out of it, which looks just like one in Peru. Um, I sent, I emailed them immediately to Randall and his team. and was like, dude, there's like megalithic structures in the Azores. Um, so, <laughs> so that was like, and I didn't, I wouldn't know about that unless I'm, someone had emailed me about it. So I'm open to emails. Um, I'm really sorry if I don't, get to reply quickly because there is a bunch of you um but yeah but yeah um so yes you can email me um any more questions what's going on <laughs> how many times do you think humanity has been reset um many if you think about it what anatomically correct humans have been around for at least three hundred thousand years maybe longer do you think how many times in 300,000 years this planet's had a had a bump? <laughs> yep. Um Yeah. I think I think many a time, many a cycle have we have we been destroyed. Are those maple leaves? Um no, they are stars. Um I like to express myself with with eye makeup. <laughs> Some people don't like it. Crack on. Um, there are megalithic sites in Australia. I mean, I haven't researched Australia that much, to be honest. And I don't think I'm going to be getting in anytime soon. Um, so we'll have a little look. Uh, when are we going to do, uh, when are we going to drink rum and sing <laughs> sea shanties? Absolutely, whenever you want, Kaylee. I mean, let's make sure we drink a lot of rum. Kaylee's also coming to Egypt with me. So we're going to be like vlogging and vlogging together. Um... Yeah, well, well, actually, you can sing the sea shanties, uh, Kaylee. Because I can't sing that well. Um, oh hi, Sophie! Oh hi! Nice to see you. I'm seeing all my mates in 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 the in the comments. Um, yeah. So if you guys are here, we were just talking. I'm just going to recap. We were talking about the camels in Saudi Arabia that are now um eight thousand years old. And my question is, why is Petra in Jordan, not 8,000 years old then? Why not? Um, and the other thing is this crazy looking mask that they found in Israel that's made of stone and it's 9,000 years old. What is it for? Did they, I mean, I assume they wore it because you can see there's like a hole at the side. So they would have like strapped it to their face. Is someone brave enough to put it on? I've seen the Jim Carrey movie. I know what happens. I mean, that looks like... Who's that horror movie? That, um... Jason? Freddy? One of those? Um... <laughs> pretty freaky! Love it. I love that, like, this stuff is in the news and people don't know about it because they're too busy, like, looking up footballers or something, but... Um... Pretty cool! I'm sorry, I'm just trying to read and talk at the same time. Um, let's have a little look through here. Get on Rogan. I want to get on Rogan. I don't know how. You got a super chat. Hey, Hank. Oh, thank you so much. 
Hank JB, sorry, Hank JB, that just popped up there. Um, Sophie says, I'll come to Egypt in your backpack. I think you'd fit, mate. I have a big bag and you're quite petite. Um, we'll fit you in. Nobody will notice. Um, Egypt's going to be epic. It's like 14 days. If you've ever been to Egypt, I mean, it's not a luxury holiday, I'm telling you that. It's like, I think I need to pre-train to go to Egypt because you hit the ground running. I think we're getting up at 5 a.m. on the first day to go to the Sphinx enclosure so that we can get it alone. We can get some private time with the Sphinx and like crawl all over it and stuff. Except we won't be crawling all over it, Egyptian government. Right. Um, how can I come? I'm, I'm afraid the Egypt tour is full, but if you want to come to Peru, we're going to Peru in November. Um, and that still has tickets available. So if you want to come to um, Peru and Bolivia with with me and Brian Forrester, 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 um, I got a super chat from Wheelchair Skater. Awesome, awesome name. Um, thank you so much. Thank you. I, I, there's not a huge plan to this video. I'm just celebrating um, the fact that we got to 100,000 subscribers, which was like, what? Um, I think you and Jimmy, Kaylee, and the Uncharted X guys make such a great team. I want to much, watch as much as I can. We're trying to get together. It's kind of hard because we all live on literally different parts of the planet. Um, Jimmy did say, uh, he texted today to say, am I going on Randall's tour? And I realized that I can't go on Randall's tour in September because I'm on my own tour. Um, <laughs> but I am hoping to get out with Randall, get out in America and look at some rocks and like learn because I need to I need to know more about rocks we all do it's very important so um when I can get out to America I will be and uh, you know I'll go find Randall and Jimmy and everybody who's over on that side of the pond um Kaylee is going to be with me and Annie XT in Egypt though very exciting um let's have a little look uh did you find some more underground labyrinthuses um, no, but one thing that I, I, I guess I'm trying to tell everybody, um, the Saqqara, the Serapium, which is the underground tunnel system, um, which they found the 20 granite boxes. So when we were there a year or two years ago, the manager of the Serapium, who like let us in, he, we got speaking to him and he said that this it wasn't like official news but they had found another tunnel with another 20 boxes but it's going to take a lot of money and because they're going to have to shift a lot of like rubble and years of sand and stuff out the way before they can get excavate it but they said they're unopened unopened about 20 more well they're assuming it's going to be another 20 um in this tunnel system and sakar is a mad one there's there's like eight miles of tunnel system under Giza that's just we don't even know how old that is I'm I think it's super old I think that anything underground tunnel system I think it's like 10 20,000 years old I think it's super old and I think that people built on top of like I think Giza and the pyramids I think they're even older but I think they were built on top of the old subterranean stuff like the subterranean basement of the great pyramid I think that that's a super old sacred site um but yeah gosh just chatting away here chatting away here guys um thank you so thank you so much for following because um yeah i literally just like started chatting about ancient history because i just loved it and i really didn't think other people would be <laughs> would be following but um you are and it's great and this is exciting um, what's the Peru date? Um, it is, let me just get a little thing here. Uh, so the main tour is from the 7th of November to the 16th. And then there's a little pre-tour for two days, the 4th and the 6th. Um, which is, I think, I think we see the skulls on the pre-tour. I'm going to have to check exactly what's going on with Brian. But um, it's November. It's November. Um... Uncharted does a great video about the Gosford glyphs in Australia. Um, yes, he does. So 
th um, Ben's video was how I discovered the Gosford glyphs, if you don't know what they are, Google them. Um, very intriguing, I think he puts a very, very good point across that I don't think that they were a prank. Because if it was, it would be probably the best, most intelligent, genius prank in history. In fact, it defies knowledge of it. If you don't know what I'm talking about, the Gosford glyphs are um, in the outback in Australia. There is um, a rock surface that has loads of hieroglyphs. And when they were translated, they translate into a story that around 500 BC, um, an Egyptian trading ship in, in Australia... Um, was trying to leave Australia, they got capsized in a storm, nearly everybody died, apart from the captain and a couple of other people, and they um, had to bury the dead where they could, and they basically were writing the story of what happened as like a kind of effigy, like a tomb, and they were basically saying that the gods, even though they couldn't be buried in the homeland, that the gods were going to still like accept them into the afterlife and everything. Um... So yeah, but, so people wrote them, they they only found the glyphs in like the last hundred, like in the, ooh, I want to say the 60s. Um, so people thought they were just local kids like having a laugh and, you know, just doing hundreds of hieroglyphs into stone. Um, but what's weird is that some of the hieroglyphs are in a kind of slang hieroglyph. Um, with the grammar and stuff, it's it's slang to, to 500 BC like exactly that time um and some of the glyphs weren't even discovered until 2010 so whoever wrote them if they if they did write them in the 60s or the 50s how did they know the correct grammar and the slang and how did they know how to use the glyphs that weren't even discovered until 2010 and this was like before the internet as well guys so you think about this out back australia you'd have to go to a library you'd have to get a book the the dictionary of hieroglyphs hadn't been finished and they were using stuff that wasn't in the dictionary at the time there's stuff that doesn't make sense of the timeline but go check out ben's channel uncharted x because he he really goes into detail with it and he went there himself and he filmed it and um so that's one thing if i did go to australia i'd want to go see the goth goth gothford glyphs um is that a beer you're drinking um it's a ginger beer I'm getting into ginger it feels like it's slightly healthy because it's ginger but it's not really is it um Let's have a look. Have you checked out Praveen Mohan? No, but I am in Ben's Discord group and um, he's talked about Praveen Mohan and I'm like, uh, yeah. Oh, we've been going for 22 minutes. That's great. Um, sorry, I'm just going through. Um, let me just go to the... I, can't, I don't know whether I've got... I've got lost in the comment section. Here we go. Um, please have Graham Hancock on. I would love Graham on the channel. In fact, I've managed somehow to befriend all of the grandfathers and I've managed to personally chat to Christopher Dunn and Brian Forster and uh, Randall Carlson and the, the one grandfather that I've yet to befriend is Graham Hancock, but Graham, it's gonna happen. We're gonna be friends. Um, ginger is good for your stomach, exactly. So. I mean, fizzy ginger will be a fun surprise for that. Um, mm, 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 you've got to watch Praveen, like, now. I will. I will. Just give me a minute. Thank you. Um, great. Well, this is awesome. Congratulations on the 100k. Thank you very much. Um, well, congratulations to everybody, really, because it's up to you guys. You guys have been, like, sharing and commenting and every little share and like and stuff. It tells the, the YouTube algorithm something good about me and then, you know, we spiral on from there. So thank you guys. Having a party. Have a drink with me if you can. If not, you're at work or you're driving or something, then don't. Mm -mm -mm -mm. So... Um, yeah, what's the with the pink stars near your eyes? I mean, why not, Susan? I just fancied a little bit of sparkle. It is a party. It's an impromptu party. I am in my pyjamas, basically. So, But you know what? Business in the front. Leisure wear in, in the bottom. <laughs> oh, my dog wants to come in. Bear with me. There we are. Ooh. Run alive, Obi. Run alive. Look. It's all the people on the live. 
Sorry, I had to get my dog. I left him outside. Um, how is the mini series coming along? So yes, so um, for those of you that know, uh, I, I had to stop YouTube for like two months because I, I went away and I filmed a TV show, um, which is going to be out next month, I think. I'm going to have a trailer real soon to show you. Um, it's all about wrestling. It's a comedy show about like wrestling, like WWE. So um, as soon as I know when it's out exactly, I will obviously let you guys know. Um, because yeah <laughs> um let's have a little look um what's your dog's name um obi obi-wan kenobi obviously um actually weird weirdly we knew we wanted to uh name our dog uh, obi so we were looking for a dog that looked like an obi we found this puppy went to get him a week later i called the breeder to say sorry, what was his date of birth? Because I need it for the insurance. And they said, oh, May the 4th. What? So he was literally um, born on May the 4th and he's called Obi. So he's actually a Jedi. And he's not a Corgi. He's, um, he's half a Pomeranian, half a Jack Russell. So that's called a Jackeranian. I don't know. Um, Girl wrestling. Yes, I play a girl wrestler and I literally trained as a, as a wrestler for a month before we shot. So, and I did all my own stunts. Like I jumped off the top rope. I, I took a clothesline, I bumped. We did it all. It's going to be epic. If you're into wrestling or comedy, <laughs> or even if you're not, please watch it. <laughs> yeah, so it would be. Um, a pog. <laughs> He's a pog. You pog. Oh, yes. And the new Obi-Wan series is coming out as well. So Obi's obviously going to be watching that, of course, because, you know, keep it in the family. Um, and yes, okay, let's have a little look. May the fourth be with you, 100%. He's going to be two this year. He's still kind of a puppy. Um, what do you find interesting about ancient India? Well, I did mention this before, but the Barabar Caves, I think, are the most incredible, precise blow your mind um ancient site in the world um i haven't been there myself but there's a there's a a great um video called builders of the ancient no bam it's called bam the documentary um and they 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 are they actually sent people in to like radar scan it lidar scan it and um the results they got back it's it is more, the stone is more precise and mirror finished than the human eye can see. What? And it's supposed to have been done by tools, like no, like before copper. It's supposed to have been done with stone tools and copper chisels, not before copper, before metal. So copper chisels. I, it was not, this thing was not made with copper chisels. So what was it made by? How? Mm. And also it's a cave system. So yes, exactly. What? Um, it's a cave system. So think about logistically how did he they even see what they were doing in front of themselves how did they see to make it so precise because there's one door in the whole cave how did they breathe how did they they did they use electric light because if so there would be flames and ash and it would be smoky and so the light they were using must have been not a flame like it the more you look at it the more questions you get and the more like oh what um so yeah, I would like to go to India one day. I think India has a like whole whole load of secrets. And I think it's I think they're older. Like I think they're um they've got like an older what's it called? Registry of stuff, like Yes. Um I vote it's alchemy. Probably all alchemy. They ate a lot of carrots. <laughs> yeah. Maybe. Maybe that's how. Um I think that the next most crazy ancient place is Japan. I think ancient Japan and ancient China do not get the recognition that they need to get because from what I've seen, ancient Japan is like even more batshit crazy than Egypt. That, it's like, it's the most crazy thing. Um, do you believe in the ancient alien theory? I'm more inclined to believe in the ancient human theory. I think that we've got human, the human history. I think we've only just like chipped a little bit of 
the spaghetti junction of what that would look like. And I think that there was loads of um, hominids and like different homo sapien kind of hybrids. And I think that those people were probably, I think I'm more likely to believe that the Denzinovians, Denisovans, um, I do think that they had probably a lot more to do with like megalithic building and things than um than like at, than like outer space aliens but i mean you know that is a, where are the aliens that's the question like in our solar system like mathematically probability wise there should at least be other life it's a bit weird that there isn't it's a bit weird that we can't see it yet but i'm excited about the um the new telescope thing there that they're sending the mirrors out into space and we're going to see the beginning of time. We're going to be alive to work out what the hell happened. That's an exciting time to be alive. So exciting. You can't go on Rogan and tell him you don't believe in aliens. I can go on Rogan and say what I want because it's Rogan. <laughs> what about giants? Um, yeah, I think there were giants. I think there's too much law about it for the people. I think people, law and legend comes from something. Egyptian gods mm. came from something original, some human. There was somebody called Thoth, I believe, who inspired the actual god. And the same with giants. There's too much mystery and like lore about it. Um, and also, hell, loads of um, skeletons that they've just found all over the gaff. So, oh, bye, Kayla. You gotta pop. Oh, bye bye now. You gotta pop off. Yeah. Um, oh, my dog. What's my dog? well okay great guys this has been awesome um thank you so much I'm, i literally popped on here just to say a huge thank you and also just have a quick chat um because this is actually why i started the channel because i wanted to find people who wanted to talk about this stuff forever and a day because a lot of my friends aren't that interested in it and um yes i know and i really wanted to chat and um, i've made ton of friends and this year is going to be so exciting so um thank you <laughs> thank you very much and i'm gonna love you and leave you and um the video will be up this week on the atlantis ring because i've got all the backstory the history the law and the results of wearing it for a whole week so um i will i will let you know over and out kids over